What's going on guys? The Boulder Boulder here. And today I'm going to be doing another Hero Factory set review over the the latest series, Hero Factory Savage Planet. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing Stormer 3.0. So first I'll go over the canister and then the figure after a second. So here's the box. Um, the canister is still the same as uh, um, all three series. They're all still the same and just the green lids with all the heroes. And here is Stormer in a stance. Stormer 3.0 at the bottom. And I got the Hero Factory symbol right here. And Lego Hero Factory across the top. And it's for ages 6 to 16. 31 pieces. And um, in the background, you should notice that there is Scorpio. And there's another one. And I think there's... Yeah, there's more over here. Like, one, two, three, four. And there's, I think there's one more down there. So it looks like he's going to be ambushed by Scorpios. <laughs> and then on the side, it says herofactory.lego.com on the side. And right here, herofactory.lego.com. And you enter in the code that's inside the lid. And I believe you put it on. The website to play a mini game with Stormer 3.0. And here on the back it says Lego Hero Factory across the top. The actual size for the Hero Core. And the combination model with Raka and Stormer. And then here's the figure. Um, and then here is one of the heroes inside the assembly tower getting their new armor and weapons and then it shows them being sent from the tower to Quatros to defeat the witch doctor and stop him from stealing all the quasa from the planet which could potentially destroy it so that's it for the box here is Stormer 3.0. Have to say, this guy is pretty awesome. Also, one of my favorites of the series, so that's why I picked him up. And I like that he has plenty of armor. Um, when I first saw him, and I saw his legs, I was like, eh, I don't think I really like the design. But now I don't think I really mind it as much. I think it actually looks pretty good. And, of course, he's got this arm with a big armor on it. And that blue spike on here. Oh, yeah, and I do love the color scheme. I like it. They also use this color with Bionicle, which worked out pretty well. And then right here he has his ID piece. Stormer 3.0 and has that Rhino on there. Rhino powers, which is pretty cool. And then here's his weapon on this arm. I wish they had put another piece of white armor right here. It could easily have been done, but I guess they just didn't want to do that. <laughs> I'm not sure why. But oh well. And the uh, green piece, in my opinion, sort of does clash with this color scheme. Doesn't really fit in at all. But, oh well. And on his arm with the big armor on it, that's one of the details I like about him. It makes him look really bulky. And like with the Stringer 3.0, he also had a big arm, but he had a smaller arm, lower arm piece. 
unlike her here with Stormer, he has a piece of armor right there. Stringer and Stormer. Yeah, these guys are my favorite characters from the series. So, let's bring that again. Alright. One thing I did notice, like it shows on the back of the box, Raka is the taller person in this series, and Stormer is not. <laughs> Kinda wish that Stormer was still the taller guy, like in the 2.0 series, but apparently they decided to not do that, and they gave Raka the taller lower leg pieces. Not sure why they did that, because he's just the rookie, and he's just showing up in the Hero Factory series. And he also already has an XL version. Um, but oh well. More over the guy. Um, I will try to make a mock with this guy. And as you can see on his back there isn't any armor right there. Which is a little disappointing. The rest of the body is good, but except for the back. So, I will most likely do a mock with this guy and fix that. Which is what most people do with their mocks. I believe that's about it. And then, yes, I did watch the Hero Factory Savage Planet episode. I kind of liked it. It was pretty cool. But in the show, they made it, um, they made the guys look a lot bigger than they really were. Like, they, um, added this piece right here, and they just flipped it on this side. And then on the back, it looks like they just took other pieces like this and put them on their back somehow. So they, they, they just cover up all that stuff in the TV show, apparently. And then, with Stringer, they made his hand be able to just do this, and then all, somehow it's a plasma gun, and he could fire it just like just doing that. I don't know why they did that. It's kind of weird. But. Oh well. And I'm not exactly sure what his weapon is. I guess it's some sort of ice claw or ice gun. Not exactly sure. But I don't know. Um, and then a little bit more on Raka. I saw how he got his XL version on Quatros. Um, it turns out that when they were on the planet, they found some ancient golden armor. And it ended up working for Raka. And so he used it and got his giant... XL version which made him a lot bigger and a lot of armor and bigger weapons and stuff like that and he looked pretty cool huh. but um, guess that's about it for now thank you guys so much for watching and for all the subscriptions and Please continue to watch all of my videos. Um, be sure to check out my latest video. The link should be right here. here. Let me adjust the camera real quick. There. And, uh, uh, yeah. I guess that's about it. Please be sure to check out my blog. The link should be down in the description. And I also have a Facebook page that I created. You can head over to Facebook. The link should also be in the description below. 
So, I guess that's about it. See you next time. My next video will be the updates for the Hero Factory Villain Mock Hazard. So, be sure to watch out for that. And thank you guys. And I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.